We start tonight, you know, many Tennessee fans are counting down to kick off this weekend, right? The volunteers hosting the UT Martin Skyhawks this Saturday for homecoming. But tonight, we are reminded that sometimes football is more than just a game. Yeah, Vol fans from all over are pitching in to help a UT Martin offensive lineman and his family get back on their feet after losing their home in Hurricane Ian. Six on your sides, Wes Cooper is live in the studio. And Wes, I understand the fundraiser took off after a post on Twitter. That's exactly right. Don and Bo, the assistant sports information director at UT Martin, says just yesterday morning the fundraiser for AJ Marquez and his family was just right above $3,000. But after this tweet from UT athletic director Danny White, the fundraiser is now more than 55 grand. I couldn't sleep till like 3 a.m. just because uh, I just kept seeing that number go up and go up, and I've, I've never experienced that type of love before. Oh, AJ Marquez does not consider himself a typical college football player. I mean, I'm not into college football like that. I just play the sport. I mean, I I'm the first to play college sports in my family. I was the first to play sports in general in my family. Right now, the UT Martin lineman is gearing up for Saturday's game against the Vols, but his family in Port Charlotte, Florida, is picking up the pieces after losing everything in Hurricane Ian. My mom needed me, so I went, I went, I went down home, and it didn't hit me until like I, I sat down and I looked at my house, looked at my neighborhood, and uh, experienced and seeing everyone just, you know picking pieces out their house and throwing it out. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a crazy experience. As AJ processed the damage, he struggled with continuing his football career. And just going back home and work and, you know, work like a blue-collar job and, and just work hard and uh, do all these things did come to mind. But um, my mom wants me to get a degree. Uh, my mom wants me to, you know, have a degree and carry that weight with a degree. But AJ's mind is slowly coming to ease as more and more, especially ball fans, give to his fundraiser. If I could have a single file line of everybody and I could have a conversation every single one of the people like I, that, I, that donated, I would. I would, I would, I would, I would waste, I would do a whole week of doing that. I would thank everybody if I could. Like, it, it just means a lot. I mean, they didn't have to do those things. They didn't have to, they didn't have to go out of their way to, to donate. It, they did it out of the kindness of their heart. And, you know, nowadays and, you know, I think we're in a pretty dark place in the world right now where, you know, uh, people aren't as good. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of light on the darkness in the world. AJ added the fundraiser is causing him to have more hope in humanity. And he says he'll be a Vols fan after Saturday's game. But. That's right, after Saturday's game. Kudos to everybody that's been stepping up. Wes, thank you again. That GoFundMe for AJ's family has now topped 55000 If you would like to help this young man and his family, we will, of course, have the link for you in this story on WATE.com.